I'd like to show you me working a past SBR exam question on the ACCA practice platform. And this will have two benefits. It will show you a taster of exam technique, yeah, and give you some confidence as to how to go about approaching these questions. Relevant is only this, the last two paragraphs. The first thing I'd like you to do is to read the information in the question, read the requirement, read the information in the question so you're familiar with this before I do the debrief. So please feel free to put the question, to put the video on pause. Now, the requirement of this question is about discussing the impact um, th that will have on the fair value measurement, IFRS 13, on the investment property, I say 40, six marks. So because it's six marks, we've got 10, 11 minutes to play with. We're going to try and say six things. Now, we've got several investment properties. They measure them at fair value. Um, Wing is of the opinion that the market is undervaluing the property. And therefore, they've taken this radical decision to disregard market prices. Uh, they claim that some of the market transactions are not really uh, appropriate because they're based on forced sale. Uh, they've indicated that they would not sell their property in the current market. Um, and there's a decrease in the volume of activities, but several properties similar to those held by Wing have in fact been sold. So how are we going to make a start? Well, let me give you a, 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 a potential start by writing something out like this. So I wonder what you think of that answer. Starts with, I suppose, defining investment properties. Shows a little bit of application there because we've used the word wing. Um, then defines fair value because those are the two terms in the question. And then sort of disagrees with the scenario because the directors have decided to ignore market prices. And obviously they're wrong to do that um, because fair value is market prices. You can observe something and it's level two. Now, maybe this answer is a little bit short. Do you think, though, it's worth three out of six? Is this good enough to scrape a pass? Is this the right approach to take? I think not. I think this is not properly dealing with the information within the question. I think the start is very brittle. I don't. The definition of an investment property is not up for grabs. It's not the thrust of the question. The thrust of the question is about the, the fair value of the investment property, not whether or not it is an investment property. At best, you would be lucky. You would be lucky if this would earn you one mark. So if we're going to earn more than one mark, we need to progress. We need to take the information that is in the question. And the idea that the directors have indicated that they wouldn't sell their properties in the current market, in my view, is incorrect. Yeah. Um, fair value is not entity specific. Fair value um, is not entity specific. It is not. Um, it is market. It is the market value. It is the market value. There's the value placed upon the market. Yeah. That the directors have indicated they would they would not they they would not sell their properties in the current market is just not relevant. Just not relevant to the judgment as to the fair value. Yeah, and I think that's using the information within the question and making a valid point. But if you're going to get breakthrough and you're really going to impress the marker and get over that threshold, you've got to understand that you've said the definition of a market 
of, of a fair value is in an orderly transaction. And what we've got here is transactions which are happening due to a forced sale. Yeah, due to a forced sale. Fair value is only or market prices are only fair value. Market prices are only fair value if the market is orderly, normal. Yeah. And what we've got is, yeah, um, at the moment, some sellers are selling due to cash flow problems, due to cash flow problems. These are forced sales. Yeah, that is not an orderly market. You've also got the issue that there is a low volume. There's been a significant decrease yeah, of activities. There's been a significant decrease in activities. So it is also noted that the volume has declined. So the market is may not be representative, may not be representative yeah, of the fair value, despite yeah, those similar recent sales, despite those similar recent sales. You've got to have a you've got to have a strong number. So I'm going to go back and edit this answer. Yeah, I'm going to go back and edit the answer. Yeah, uh, the directors are wrong to ignore uh, market values, the directors may well be right to ignore market values. They may be observable. They are observable. They, yeah. Anyway, I want to draw a conclusion because I think it is good to draw a conclusion. Um, the conclusion is life is not binary. Life is not black and white. Life is not simple. It is a judgment. It is a judgment to the extent that these, you know, market prices represent fair value. You know, maybe we should be looking at alternatives because there are alternatives. There are alternative ways. Yeah, we should continue or wing may wish to consider wing may wish to consider alternatives, alternative ways of arriving at a fair value. You know, for example, income. Yeah, for example, based on income. Now, look, this is now getting more like it. This is now approaching, yeah, five or six marks. This is now getting better. I don't care about them. I don't care about the, the errors. I don't care about the, the spelling errors. What I care about is that you present your answer in short, sharp, relevant bullet points. By all means, start with a definition. But it, the, the definition starting with investment properties is just not the right place to start. Yeah, I hope you can get something out of this. And I hope you also look, let me do it. Let me do a simple, silly thing. Yeah, let me do a simple, silly thing here. Let me present the answer in this form. How does that look to you? Are you getting a headache yet? Would you like to mark an answer like this? No, this is horrible. You've got to write in short, sharp, simple sentences. You've got to embrace white space in your answer. It is an essential tool of getting friendly with the marker and you want to be friendly with the marker. Yeah, you want to earn those marks. You want to pass the exam. This is not the examiner's answer. I create my own answers with my own explanations on the practice platform to help you pass exams.
Thank you for listening. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want more, if you want me to mark your work, if you want to have full access to mock exams which are properly marked, which are debriefed to tuition, just reach out to me. This is what I do. I help my students pass their SBR exam.